um, hey, uh, <laughs> guess who just took a random quirky two to three week break from YouTube? Me. This girl did. Yeah, girl, Eve did. I don't know how to, I just don't know how to start, I don't know how to start this video. I'm so, I feel happier already just being in front, just talking to you guys. Just you, you. Sorry, that was a bit aggressive. The last month has been a test. You know what? The universe has been testing me. The pa- <laughs> The trials, the tribulations. It's been rocky. And we're gonna review it all today. <laughs> what today's video is basically gonna be is I wanted to give you guys a review um, of what the LPC was like because it's important. A lot of you could be future law students and I'm just not gonna lie about things basically. I'm not gonna like pretend things are okay at certain points when they're not. Like I'm just gonna give you the lowdown. I'm gonna give you the real deal. And then I asked some of you guys to ask me questions on Instagram. If you're not following me already, follow me, Eve Cornwell. I post great content. <laughs> Did you see me hesitate when I said that? Kind of great content. It's just a lot of me doing this, but on Instagram. So if you like that, follow me on Instagram. I asked you guys to ask me questions about the LPC, and so I'll just be quick firing through those. Pew pew, bit of old town road. Cowboy, we're gonna get through all of them. And um, also, second point, we finished! We finished exams! Yay! Celebrate good times, but actually hold the celebrations because I haven't quite finished, which I will also get onto in the video. Let's start from the very beginning. A very good place to start. I tangented. I've literally gone on a tangent immediately. The LPC. What is it? Mm -hmm. Good question, um, because you might not know, you might not be a law student, you might be a dog watching this, you could be anyone, so I'm just gonna give you the lowdown and we're just gonna start from a very equal playing field. The LPC is the legal practice course and basically everyone pretty much has to do it if you want to be a solicitor in the UK. You do your three years of undergraduate study at any kind of university, so I did my degree at Bristol and then I graduated and then I was like, hmm, I want to be a solicitor. So then I did the LPC. The LPC can be 12 months or six months, which <laughs> we're gonna get into in just a minute. So let's just quickly re-go over all of the timing of this. I started my LPC on the 2nd of January this year. Yes, the day after New Year's Day. You probably remember if you watch my dramatic, overly dramatic, well, all of my vlogs are overly dramatic. It's kind of part of the brand at this point. Um, but you probably watched my overly dramatic moving vlog back in January. I moved to London on New Year's Day. It was all very exciting and cool. I literally started my first day of classes on the 2nd of January, 2019. And my last exam was the 24th of June. So six months. Next question is maybe where did I study? So I studied at the University of Law at the Moorgate campus. My electives were chosen for me by my law firm, so I didn't actually have a lot of choice in terms, well, I didn't have any choice when it came to what I was actually studying um, because they chose electives that would be reflective of the work that I'm gonna be doing in practice at the firm. So it makes a lot of sense that they choose them. But I did mergers and acquisitions, I did banking debt finance, and I did public companies law. I'm doing a master's in business over the summer. Again, that's something that my law firm wanted me to do. It's essentially kind of like compulsory um, to do your LPC and then to do your master's in business. Um, so that's what I'm starting now. That's basically like two dissertations and a presentation in September, I think. If you thought the study vlogs were over, they ain't because I'm still working. I haven't had time off. I'm still working. I found the LPC pretty tough. Like I found it quite hard. I feel like there is like a general consensus going around that like once you finish your like law degree, then the LPC is kind of just like the middle bit that you have to get over with and it's actually not that hard. Um, whereas I actually found the LPC much harder than my undergraduate degree. Like I found the past six months harder than my final year at university. I think the biggest reason why I found it tough was because I was doing the six months course and not the 12 months course. If anyone's watching this and you don't know whether to do the six months or the 12 months or if you're joining a law firm and they give you the option or if you're self-funding yourself through the LPC, I would personally suggest doing the 12 months course. I think generally the course is much better taught as a 12 month course. Um, 
six months just means that everything that goes over the whole year is just squished into six months. And to give you kind of like an example of the effect of that, I started my course on the 2nd of January and I didn't take a day off until the 24th of June. Like, I hand on heart, I didn't take a day off. At, oh, actually, I did take a day off after my midterm final exam. I did take a day off. And I think that's the intensity of a six month course. I personally found that super overwhelming at times. It's really based on independent study. Like, it's not like university where you have lectures. Um, it's really based on kind of like preparing before you get to the tutorial or the workshop. And then at the workshop, you were already kind of expected to have understood and comprehended every, like all the material you're gonna cover. I'm the kind of person that like, if I'm sat in a class and I don't understand something and the tutor is talking about something and everyone seems to understand it, that really gets to me. I can't, it makes me so, so anxious because I'm kind of sat there like, oh, I'm the only one that doesn't know what's going on. One thing I think really helped me um, throughout this whole six months is living with people who are also lawyers or who are also doing the LPC. So for example, Raina is also doing the accelerated six month course. She's doing it at BPP, which is another law school in London. Anushka is also doing the LPC. She's doing the full year one. To have them working at kind of like the same intensity as, as me was super, super helpful. I imagine if you're working with people that are maybe students on different courses who aren't expected to work the same kind of hours it can be quite hard to be able to rationalize why you are working so late or why you're having to get up so early in the morning and um, because all of us understand why we have to have this work ethic <sighs> Raina always replies to these stories and all of my first questions are just Raina what was what was the tuition fee how long is it and application tips um good question but something I can't super help out on um basically as I have already mentioned um in some videos I have my training contract at Linklaters which is a UK law firm and I'm super super fortunate because they basically fund the LPC for me so I didn't pay for any of the course um, and they also give me a maintenance grant which is why I can afford to live in a house so yeah basically this is why at university I was so so like keen to make sure I left university with a training contract and had financial support from a law firm because personally I'm not from a financial background where I could have afforded to pay for the LPC the LPC is like pretty expensive I don't know the figures off the top of my head there you can probably find them if you just give them a quick google online um it's more than like university tuition fees per year in the UK okay I'm getting a lot of questions about the differences between the six month and the 12 month LPC which I've kind of already touched on and a lot of people are saying whether the six month LPC is possible it is possible, look, I did it. Uh -huh. I want to be careful about what I say here because I know that if I make a video being like, oh, the six month LPC is like awful and horrible, then it will get quoted by someone and it will get quoted by an article and it will say that, oh, Eve Cornwell says that the six month LPC is not possible. That is not what I'm saying at all. You know, you get your qualification in a much quicker time. It means that you can start your work much more quickly. It is definitely possible, but you need to make sure that you are starting that course with an awareness of the workload. I will be honest, like my mental health did take a hit like quite a few times this year because I was just burning myself out continuously. Like you don't get a break. As I said earlier, I did. I only took like one day off in like six months. Um, you never feel like you've properly taken space away from your course which is a very weird headspace to be in. Should I do the LPC even if I've not secured a training contract? That's a really good question and it's a really tough question as well. The problem with the LPC is how expensive it is. You know, I'm so aware of the fact that not everyone can afford the LPC unless you're giving some kind of financial support from a law firm. As I said, it's not something that I would have been able to afford if I'd have done it by myself. If you're not in a position where you think you can fund yourself through the LPC, I would say try and do some legal work elsewhere, make that money for yourself and then put yourself through it. I mean, the thing is, if you genuinely really want to be a lawyer and if you're doing the LPC, it means that you have got your undergraduate law degree, I would recommend you do it because it, it just opens so many more doors for you. Um, it means that you can start a training contract and you can become a qualified lawyer at some point. Why did you choose the University of Law to do your LPC? That is where Linklaters wanted me to train. The two main providers in London are the University of Law and BPP. That's generally where most 
city law firms send their future trainees. How much did it compare to your undergraduate degree and which modules helped you prepare for it? Great question. There are definitely modules at university that you can take during your law degree which will help you for your LPC. For example, I took company law at university in my second year and the company law specification at university was almost identical to the business law module on the LPC. So a lot of the content that we were going over, I could pick up so much more quickly because I already knew a lot about company law in the UK. What do you do after the LPC? Does that mean you can begin to be a proper lawyer? Please pray that I've passed these exams because they were bloody hard exams and I'm like praying that I've passed them. Like results day is gonna be interesting. So, so in September, I start my full-time job at Linklaters um, as part of my training contract. A training contract is two years long. So for two years, um, you can choose the departments you sit in. Oh, how are you? Any mental breakdowns lately? It, like the week of my exams, so the week that my exam started, I had like a complete meltdown, which by the way, it might sound shocking, but for me, it's not. Like, I'm just not very good at exam seasons at all. Like exam seasons just freak me too much. I overthink everything. I'm just very paranoid. Like I don't sleep very well. Like exam seasons just, aren't they're just not where i thrive basically i know no one i know that no one likes exam seasons but like i really don't like exam seasons i got through like 500 of these I'm, I'm not joking i'm literally not joking i got through about 500 of these literally still now i'm just finding these like stuck to my elbows and stuck to my butt like i'm these are everywhere in the house like sometimes i shower and they just kind of like fall off me <laughs> what is the latest hour you've worked to? Mm, I've not pulled any all-nighters this year, which is a huge personal growth from university. Um, not that late, maybe like 3 a.m. But I think I've become more woke about the fact that like, if I'm up really late, I'm gonna have to sleep in. And most days I had like 9 a.m. classes. Balancing with social life. I've had a lot of questions about this. Like how do you balance your, so your work with your social life? As I said, I'm super, super lucky. I'm super lucky for two reasons. Firstly, the people on my course are fantastic. And I, I mean my own intake. So basically I'm in all of my classes and all of my tutorials with people who are joining Linklaters at the same time as me. So I am in a group of maybe like 30 to 40 future trainees. Um, so everyone is going to the same firm as me. And genuinely, some of the nicest people I've ever met and very like-minded people. It's not competitive. At university, the one thing I hated about law students is that everyone was just so competitive. I have not once since January felt like I was competing with anyone else in my classes or my course. I could ask the stupidest questions in my class and I never felt judged or pressured like my groups are so amazing. Like the people in my intakes are fantastic, which I don't know. I don't know whether I wasn't expecting that. I d in, all, in all honesty, I wasn't. I wasn't expecting everyone to be great, but yeah, the graduate recruitment team did a very good job at recruiting this group of future trainees because genuinely everyone is so nice and so similar to me. All of your friends become your classmates. So your social life can, exist kind of within your academic bubble as well if that makes sense so it doesn't feel like when you're working in class or when you're working in the library that you're missing out on a social life because you're with all of your friends but yeah basically what i'm trying to say everyone on my course is great second thing i live with lawyers so none of us lie about the fact that we're gonna have to work hard and also none of us are like out like being super social all the time we're all like at the same level of being boring no i'm joking <laughs> we do actually get out quite a lot but like all of us are at the same level which is nice because it, it never feels like it never feels like i'm missing out on anything because we're all doing the same thing the third thing is everyone else my age who has graduated uni is getting shit done like everyone is getting on with their life it's not like at uni where like most nights a week like everyone is like out and drinking and doing like everyone's working like really bloody hard um you know we're all in our early 20s we're all like trying to grind so in terms of like missing out on a social life i think this is just life when you when you graduate university and when you are trying to be successful and if you're if you want to try and get somewhere um, obviously like at the weekend and on Fridays and to be honest like quite a few nights a week we'll be at the pub and we'll just be relaxing with like my course mates or with my housemates but like I've 
genuinely never felt like I was missing out on any kind of social life. So someone has put, have you experienced a serious burnout during the LPC? And if yes, how did you deal with it? I think I experienced burnouts in two ways. Obviously there's an exam season burnout. I feel like everyone does this. They work super, super hard before exam week hits. And then when it gets to exam week, they're already exhausted. But I would say another form of burnout, which I experienced, which I hadn't really experienced before, is kind of was early on in each term. And that was kind of because the course is very intensive. You have a lot of contact hours per week. And that means that although you're not necessarily like preparing directly for an exam, you feel like you have to keep on top of your work. And I think I was like micro burning out throughout the whole year because I was putting a lot of pressure on myself to stay on top of work, which just meant that I was consistently just very tired. Sometimes you can be burnt out when you don't realize you are. So even when it's not exam season and you think you're just getting on with things, sometimes if you're pushing yourself too hard or you have very high expectations of yourself or even if it's just self pressure that you're putting on yourself, that can cause you to burn out mentally. And I think the solution to that is to make sure you're always tracking yourself um, in terms of your targets and your time management. You're not kind of just like, oh, I'll do a few hours here and a few hours there. You understand where you're allocating your work. Um, so therefore you can allocate your hours not working and you can see where your time off is gonna be. Oof, do you have a social life? I do have a social life. It's just a legal social life, which I really like. How involved were Linklages during the LPC? Good question. Um, Linklages were super involved in the LPC and they were they were actually really, really good. So twice throughout the six months, I had a one-to-one -one meeting with someone in the graduate development team who was just like checking up on how I was doing, any difficulties I was having. The second really good thing that Linklages did, which I'm not sure a lot of other firms do, slash I don't know whether other firms do this, from like February or March, we would be in the firm weekly. But basically we would go in, um, we would have to go in in business wear and um, we would sit for about two hours and listen to a talk from like members of their tax team or their corporate team all the different teams in the firm that we could possibly train with during our training contract spoke to us the other really good thing that link Latest did was they held two pie events i i don't know i think it's practice information events is what that stands for um and they're basically like careers fairs within a law firm which is really really cool and like all of the different departments in the firm would have like freebies and goodies like there were like chocolate fountains and there were like some free drink. It was just a really nice social thing to do as well. Like you would go in and you each stand would be a different department and you would talk to them about the work they do and um, how many trainees they take on into that department. So yeah, we had actually a lot of firm contact. And oh my God, the other thing, we were able to use the Linklater's gym throughout the whole time. So I had full gym access, like didn't have to pay for it. It was completely free. All of the LPC students had free gym access in the link latest gym throughout the whole LPC, which is something I don't think a lot of firms do. Hopefully there won't be another three week hiatus on this video. I'm launching my project in July, which is huge. I'm not even joking. You're gonna be blown or actually, you're not gonna be surprised because imagine something I'm gonna be doing a project on. If you know me well, imagine what the project is about. It's about that. It's about that, yeah. And I'm launching that in July, so um, get ready for that. When you're watching this, I'm away on a weekend and I'm filming it. I'm doing like a post retreat. I'm doing I'm doing a post exams retreat getaway. That's what I'm doing this weekend when you're watching this. And I'm filming all of that and I'm going away with one of my best friends and it's just gonna be very fun. And I can't wait for that to go up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Mm -hmm.